BAM! Hey guys, this is Gamer Tylia and I'm super excited because I got my BAM box today! So I'm going to open it. I can't wait. I want to know what's inside. They say it's going to be spectacular! And I have no idea. I've actually forgotten the theme, so we'll see. The boxes has just a little squished here. Um, besides that, not really much damage. So, dum dum dum. Oh 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 oh! I'm just force out everything here. <gasps> oh, I got a one-up card. Congratulations, you got a 1-up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. A yellow card. I have no idea what the different colors stands for. Probably I will know when I look in the box. Oh, nice. Win this. Stan Lee signed Ronan the Accuser photograph. Straight out of band box. Want to trade an item? Oh, they started a community where, where you can trade stuff. So, let's dig in to the goodness, and we'll start with the pin. Band pins. True love. Ah, galactic. The theme was galactic. How could I not remember that? It's a Groot, but it says true. <laughs> it's Groot. I actually never seen the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy but my son is crazy about uh, the Amazing Spider-Man uh, and there's some crossovers episodes with Guardians of the Galaxy and Groot is in them first it's like the little stick in a plant in the pot so it's kind of crazy it's a Groot! Groot pit! So. I just opened the box and I was like, DIG! Paper! Hmm. Oh. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. I don't know where to begin. I actually don't know where to begin. I never do with these boxes. That's why I love that box. <gasps> What's this? What's this? What's this? <gasps> Star Trek. Star Trek. It's a pin. It's a Star Trek pin, and I can grade myself. I think I don't. I I don't know when to take this out of the box. It's pins. It's pins. It's it's Star Trek pins. I I. If I ever cosplay. When I cosplay, <laughs> uh, and I decide to make a Star Trek ca uh, costume, I will wear this definitely. I'm wondering what's the wh what's the one-up card. I have no idea. Um. Oh, this is cool. But why would they cut it? Why would they cut it? Uh, alien resurrection wardrobe piece. I'm trying to find the light where you can see. Now you can see. Uh, exclusive costume worn by Auriga crew. Why would they cut a, a piece of jacket? <laughs> Limited edition. Um, I. Uh, props from movie. Last month I got a drawing from a, a cartoon. This time I get a props from a movie. <laughs> I just love the bad box. <laughs> oh my god. Oh there's some Oh there's metal in here. Oh I got an email about the sand. It was some kind of sand, Mars space sand. 
Uh, pour the sand into a cup of water. Form shapes and figures with the sand while underwater. Remove the sand with a spoon and it will be dry. Oh, I've seen these kind of stuff. Um, I got an email from the company that some of these started to leak. The, the box uh, bags had been uh, opened during um, during the shipping, and that if they had, they will uh, compensate you. But mine is. Mine is completely whole, so maybe I shouldn't do that. What if it explodes and there will be sand all over my bed? <laughs> okay, so more space sand. It's a print. Uh, it's a Thanos or Thanos, but I don't know if it's the artist. Probably. Uh, this one has the one-up card, I believe. It's. It looks like it, because it's like the little note there that looks like it says 1-up. Or it just said LP on his belt, I have no idea. Um, so... Anyway. Certificate of Authenticity, always. As, as always. Oh my god, this is so cool! I, I, love, I love Star Wars, I love Star Wars, and this is so cool! It's a, a book. Um, what's it called? Book. Um, you put it in a bookshelf, and you put your books here, and it holds the books. I don't know what the name is. Oh my God! It's Darth Vader. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of this and send it to a friend of mine because she she loves Star Wars just as much as I do, and she's gonna be so <laughs> furious. <laughs> I'm so jealous! I love it! <laughs> I wish I could have a store trooper one also, so I could put one there and... I hope it's Darth Vader. It has to be Darth Vader. It can't be Kylo Ren, because it doesn't have these little wussy holders. So! The pamphlets! What is the one-up card? What is the one up call? What is the one up call? So, so, let's start with this one. Bam box exclusive. It was the print. It was the print. Uh, Thanos uh, by artist Logan Pack. So it's Logan Pack that has signed it. For the first time, we have two artists in this month's box, and these are Bam box exclusive prints. You will receive either. Thanos by Logan Pack or The Battle by Blake Henriksen. Watch up watch out for the red one up card to get the Thanos black and white variant or the battle red lantern variants. To collect them all, trade the band box, blah blah blah. Logan Pack is a Roswell New Mexican based artist whose unique style has become a favorite at Cons Nationwide. Okay, so the one up card was I don't understand a one-up card. <gasps> oh! Oh! I cheated. Black he Blake Henriksen is a Denver-based illustrator who currently operates under this... S s pseudonym. Pink Havoc. Blake has worked on such properties as Star Wars The Card Game, Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures, Lord of the Rings The Card Game... Oh my god, I need to get us. Warhammer The Living Card Game and Legends of Morath. His client list includes Sony Online Entertainment, Fantasy Flight Games, Cryptozoic Entertainment, Die Wolf Digital, and Backflip Studios, to name a few. So there's like four different prints you can get. Is that from the movie? I love Green Lantern. He's like my favorite, favorite superhero in DC Universe. But it's going got to be John Stewart then from the cartoon Justice League of America. Because uh, Hal Jordan's like. I have hard. M mostly because of how they portrayed him in the movie. Ryan Reynolds does a good job, but he couldn't say Green Lantern to the movie. It's not a really bad movie per se, but it's a. Uh, 
questionable movie. Yes. So, uh, you can either get this one, this is the regular. You can get a black and white one for this, and it's a one up card or level up. Uh, red one up card. If you get a red one up card, you get either the black and white this or the Red Lantern variant. Uh, the other original is either this or the original Green Lantern with a green lantern instead of a red lantern. <laughs> a lot of lantern. Lantern, lantern. This is going up on my print wall. Maybe I need to take a photo of it and post it on Instagram so you can see it. Because it's kind of full. I only have two shelves. I need to get like four more to fit all the stuff. And uh, next thing, Galactic Bad Box exclusive authentic wardrobe car from the movie Alien Resurrection. It's this. Take it from a screen used jacket worn by the Origa crew in the movie Alien Resurrection. Is this Bad Box exclusive authentic wardrobe car? Each card contains an authentic piece of the jacket worn in the movie. This is a Bad Box exclusive limited edition piece. The only problem is, is they cut a uh, movie prop to pieces it's a very awesome thing to get this is actually from the movie and that's what I said movie props that's what I love about Bambox but why cut a piece of movie props it made me sad Sand. Mars Space Sand. This amazing sand will not get wet. Dump it in a glass of water, remove it with a spoon and it will emerge completely dry. This sand has the same properties as Martian soil and is used by scientists in NASA Mars exploration experiments. Ooh, that's cool. Because I know they sell stuff equal to this in kids store. You can actually buy stuff similar to this few years ago, I don't know if you sell it today, but a few years ago you could, in kids store, uh, in toy stores. And um, it was not that popular. I know the commercial they had this like big, you know, ant farms, glass tanks. They had that kind of stuff with a lot of water in and there was like pouring sand. The effects was kind of cool, but... I'm torn. It's the uh, yeah. It's cool that they they use this for Martian exploration. That's cool. It's kind of torn. Oh, I wish I could have get a gold star instant winner. Cause if I had, I would receive a signed comic from Titus, included Superman, Green Lantern, Infinity War, and others. Check the back of your comic board to see exactly who signed it. I would have wanted a Green Lantern, but I guess that's the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. I'm stuck on John Stewart. Hello, you're so good looking. Okay, costume, a custom Star Trek: The Next Generation badge and rank pin set. Step aboard the Starship Enterprise and choose your ranking with this custom badge and ranking pips pin set. Die struck from a sheet of copper and individually hand polished. These badges are cosplay quality. And if you hear some scratching, it's my cat that scratches the bed. Cats. Okay. The pin. I'm taking this one last. Uh, the band box exclusive true love rocket, raccoon, and groot pin. Oh, where's rocket? I can't see a rocket. I can only see a group. Oh, you can get even one. <laughs> Designer Nick Kokosa is back with this month's BAM pin. And for the first time, we have two pins you can collect. Oh, that's why they had to collect. Our favorite love story from Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot. 
Trulla, you will receive one of the pins and will have to trade to get the set. And watch out for the green one-up card, which shows the black and gold variant numbers on the back of the pin. I had a 250. I get the normal one. But when I look at the black and gold variant, this is actually better. It looks better. So. Costume handmade steel Star Wars silhouette statues. Okay, it's not really books. And, but it looks like it. From the craftsmanships of Smittitut Designs comes these custom handmade steel Star Wars silhouette figures made exclusive in this size for Bambox. Standing at 5 inches tall. How much is 5 inches in meter? I hate that Americans don't have a <laughs> metric system. Because your American systems is like really fucked up. Um, the metric system always goes by tens and hundreds and how can that be more confusing than like a foot being I don't know 3.14 okay that's pi I know but you know what I'm talking about standing at 5 inches tall and made from forged steel most will get either Yoda or Boba Fett but 500 will get a yellow one of course to receive the 8 inch black Darth Vader <laughs> I got it on reading. Yes! Out of all Star Wars, I like the old ones better. Arc 4, 5, 6. And in those movies, my favorite characters are. Don't judge me. Uh, Yoda, of course. Uh, Darth Vader. Because it's awesome, even though he's a bad guy. Good guy turning bad guy turning good guy. And. I love the Ewoks! They're so cute! There's like big giant teddy bears running around! And of course Chewbacca. Ewok. No, he's a Wookiee. I was so focused on the Ewoks. I got a one-up card and I got Darth Vader! I would have been... Yoda could have been nice to you. But nothing beats the Darth Vader. Yeah, uh, uh, an uh, Ewok would have. Ewoks comes first. I have no place to put these things. <laughs> yeah, I got my bag where I put my pins. But otherwise, I have no other place for my stuff. I need to get another shelf. And I still haven't gotten a picture frame for my prints. Paint replica from that cartoon, and I still haven't watched that cartoon either. But I have some for me exciting news. I finally got a hold of Hobbit, the whole series, extended edition. I haven't watched it yet. I'm waiting for a friend who's coming up next week, and we're gonna watch it together. And I'm gonna cry my eyes eyes out because it's Lord of the Rings oh my god I got three and these boxes always surprises me and I love them so much I've been only subscribing to Loot Crate and Bambox but Bambox is far better I watched a lot of unboxings on YouTube that's why I'm kind of annoyed that I'm making unboxes, but I just has to show my reactions to it. Um, and based on the contents, I have to say that Bambox is the best. There's no other box out there. Because um, you always get something, something signed or movie props or whatever. And I checked out how much I pay for it each month. As I said, I live in Sweden, so it's kind of long with ship. And I pay $29.99 for the box. Then I pay $29.90 for the shipping. So I pay around $48-ish dollar. Uh, just under $50. And that's like 500 Swedish kroners. And that's kind of a lot here in Sweden. But based on the contents, I'm happy with it. So, 
What's my final thought? Uh, Mercy! I'm super excited and I can't wait the next month because it's going to be crazy! Yes, that is the theme, I think. Based on the email, it was crazy and was like some super exclusive that everyone's going to get. So if you want the Bamox, you have to get it now because it sold, what I know, it sells out very quickly. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to say my goodbye and I'm going to stretch out my legs because they are asleep. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put everything. I have a hard time with that. i see you guys Sunday with my final reviews on my top 4. And um, if you like this video and like my reactions to this BAM box, you can click the like button. And if you want to see more unboxings or want to know more about games that are really not known, then you can click the subscribe button, because I talk about them whenever, probably. Uh, each month I make a top 4 where I talk about games that I don't really know about much and I'm always asking for tips for from the audience that I don't barely have. I'm thinking about starting other things and talking about other things. Maybe I'm going to open another channel for those. Uh, it's so One part is serious. It's actually two, th two things. One is serious and one is uh, more challenging. So uh and I hope to see you guys on Sunday on my final review for my top four. Bye!